What's up everyone, welcome back to Fish of Hex. Today we're going to be adding a blue Linkia Sea Star to the 125 gallon reef tank. Now I'm pretty excited, I've been wanting one of these starfish for a long time, and I finally got one specially ordered in. He's a definitely, definitely a good size too, he's about 8 inches across, so uh, you know, they get about a foot, so he doesn't have really too much more to go before he's full grown, but I'm definitely excited to get him into this tank. Now, uh, if you don't know my acclimation process, it's pretty simple. I like to float the bag for about a half an hour just to get temperature inside the bag. Then I'm going to uh, empty the starfish into a separate container and we'll drip acclimate from the reef tank to get salinity and pH over a period of about a half an hour to 45 minutes. Now, acclimation process has to be pretty slow with this type of starfish. It doesn't do well with sudden changes in pH and salinity. It just doesn't. Um, so basically, that's why I'm going to drip them a little bit longer than I even would a fish. It's just going to be, like I said, 30 to 45 minutes, and uh, we'll see how that turns out. Now, another thing with acclimation with this starfish is when you transition it from the container to the actual reef tank, it doesn't do well being exposed to air. So I'm actually going to be transfer transferring him very, very quickly from the container, essentially half an inch off the water, to the reef tank. So his exposure time to the air is going to be minimal. Um, it just it doesn't do well for the starfish. So. Uh, I mean, I'm obviously not going to pour the acclimation water into the reef tank. That just wouldn't be smart because you don't know where the water came from, and I'm not going to take that chance of contaminating my tank. Uh, so, But while this guy is uh, acclimating to temperature, I'm just going to go over to some water parameters that are recommended for this starfish, also some feeding, and, um, and then we'll get into uh, doing the drip acclimation. All right, so water parameters, they recommend between 72 and 79 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, 8 to 12 dKH. 8.1 to 8.4 pH and a salinity of 1.023 to 1.025. I keep my tank at 1.0255. That half a degree there really isn't that big of a deal. He'll be just fine. Again, doing the slow acclimation is going to be key to making sure that he uh, is successful in this tank. Now, I've already mentioned the whole thing with the water uh, being exposed to the air. I mean, so I've already mentioned that. Now, when it comes to feeding this starfish, they recommend that you can place food underneath him. Now, he's probably going to spend, spend most of his time on the glass. I guess we'll find out here in a couple days. But uh, my, I basically, I'll probably just put a piece of food on the wood stick that I feed the uh, eel with and just kind of slide it underneath him so he can grab the food. That's probably how I'm going to do it. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get him into the acclimation bowl and get started on the drip. All right, guys, I got the starfish in the acclimation bowl. It's at a drip rate of about one to two drops per second. I'm going to go ahead and leave him here for about a half an hour to 45 minutes. And when we come back, we'll go ahead and get him in the reef tank. Welcome back, guys. It's been about 35 minutes. We're going to go ahead and add this sea star to the reef tank. He's doing pretty good. He acclimated well, so we're just going to make it a very quick transition. Get him up the bottom. See if I can get him to stick. That'll give him a chance to move on his way there. Go ahead and give you guys a close-up view.